You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Dean. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's 90210 After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424 256 1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's 90210 After Show. What's up, y'all? It's your host, Nicolette Gaona, here with my lovely co-host, Bam in the building. What up, Bam in the building? As being as for doing it, we're doing another episode of 90210. What was it called? Um, it was the 100th episode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I totally knew that. Hello. The things we do for love. <laughs> yes. I mean, this was insane. We had, like, a lot of special guests and reoccurring guests. I mean, you know, we had Cameron. Um, <clears throat> Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. And we had Denise Richards. Denise Richards. And we had uh, Teo Cruz. Teo Cruz. Mm -hmm. and he so, always has that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the song was hot. And... Carmen Electra's, but um, her her role was minimal, and Denise's was too. But I thought it was, I thought it was, it was good. What do you she think? She did really good. I really loved Denise's character. I mean, it was definitely that bougie Beverly Hills like type. I mean, it was totally the perfect character for her. Totally agree. I, I totally loved it. And um, and Karma, Carmen, Car, <laughs> Car, whatever her name is, you know, uh -huh. she was cute as always. Love, 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 love. Yeah, it's all that, love. It was. They were quick appearances. Wasn't too much. But it, it was worked. just right. Yeah, it was just right. It worked. Mm -hmm. So, I don't even know how to get into this episode because I feel there was so much going on in this episode. Mm -hmm. So many characters brought back. I mean, to you, Bam, you you thought it was one of the best yeah. episodes so far. I did. I thought it was one of the best episodes because you know all of the the cast members came back. And we were able to extend on storylines. Mm -hmm. So we got to see a little bit of Teddy. Every, Teddy's, Teddy being there really spruced up Silver's um, character, or her storyline, because yes. we've been bored with Silver's character the whole season. So now that Teddy's there and then his boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or whatever you want to call it, Shane is there, it really brought spice. And then Naveed, you know, was trying to get in where he fits in. And then Liam and Annie. And then you had, you know, um, then you had um, uh, Dixon and mm -hmm. Adriana. Then you had Naomi and, Ma and, uh, and, Max. And, uh, and Max. And then her storyline with Denise. Mm -hmm. and, and So it was all over the place, but it was so great and I loved it. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I totally agree with you. I mean, I think we should start with Naomi and Max. I mean, that was a very dramatic fall and something we did not see coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, Max losing his whole entire job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, going even before we even get into Naomi and Max, Naomi, again, it, it kind of annoys me that they kind of make her like the lead. But right. She was the reason why they went back to West Beverly High School for this special uh, special reunion because she wanted to be a part of this uh, organization called the West Beverly uh, Legacy Ladies. Mm -hmm. And so she wanted to be a part of this. So they were having this big, they were having the big homecoming alumni event right. that for that weekend. And so she had to be in competition with, um, with Felicity Halfway because it was between the two of them. And so therefore she of course wanted to pull out all the big tricks mm -hmm. and she brought the entire, um, cast with her and that opened up everything. And then, you know, Dixon knew that, uh, noticed that there were other alumni who were in the mu music right. business. So everybody was kind of able to either get in or f get in where they can fit in, or they were bored while they were being there, but they were doing it for Naomi. And then of course, Teddy comes back from wherever he, mm -hmm. wherever he is. And now he's, he's there. I know. I mean, I just love, I, I miss the days when they were back in high school. Mm -hmm. So this episode was and meant a lot to me just because I, I miss that when they were young again. And, you know, very naive and going through things. You and it's know. and it's so funny because I can't I can't even recall 
the, when they were in high school, like it's they all, they've only been in high school for two years. Two years. But I mean, they're drinking and on drugs, <laughs> and they're just they're not even twenty one yet technically if they've been out of high school for two years. And so much has happened. That is so true. Yeah. Like I mean, you saw Teddy yeah. and um, Liam having a beer together. Yeah. And, I mean, and yeah. I thought about that in my head too, but I'm just like but I they, mean. Yeah, but they've been drinking actually since like high school. Naomi was you know at the hotel and living in the hotel and having you know. So again, their world is a little unrealistic but you know we love it yeah exactly yeah. But um, continuing on to you know yeah so Naomi and Max I mean it was very dramatized mm. especially with them um, we we saw you know Naomi pulling out all her shots to become in like this category you know mm. that they call um, all the high rollers basically I guess yeah. you could say um, so she throws a big party, the usual. At the Playboy Mansion, which we knew that because uh, our little insides told us that they had tape there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they had it there. She had a burlesque show, which we saw Silver do her little debut. Mm -hmm. um, and also a underwear lingerie show, which was very interesting. And I'm trying to remember, that girl who got mad at her, mm -hmm. Do you remember her from previous? No, right? Not, not at it all. Was just... Her name was Reese Turner, who um, who Naomi called obese Reese. Right. I don't remember her at all. Because I, I think, was really trying to think. I, I, I think that was, she was just thrown in to just show that Naomi was a mean person in high school, which she was. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I loved, loved the fact that she went out there so mm -hmm. vulnerable and... It Boop. showed a different side of her, and I really see a change in her, Ben. No, I, I know you really don't like it, but I really do. I mean, that was a lot for her. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. I really, because you know what? I know you have something against Naomi, but you know what? She really, she really stepped up her game this time. I really liked her today in that episode. Here I stand, the former bitch asking for your forgiveness. Please don't let the message get lost because I'm physically perfect. Okay, she had to say I, that. I want to say, I want to, bitch, please. <laughs> Come on, for real. I mean, she had to throw something in there that was Naomi. But she's obviously changed. Okay, whatever. It was cute. Okay, I like the moment. So let oh. me enjoy the moment. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't believe her, and as you could see, they didn't believe her, e believe her either, which is why they were throwing stuff at her. Yeah. They, they didn't really buy it, and as you can tell for next week, she has not changed. She only felt guilty because the girl confronted her. That's the only reason that she, feel, uh, that she felt guilty. True, but I feel like someone needed to confront her. Yeah, someone needed to confront her, and she felt, she felt sorry for that for, for the two seconds, and she went out there, and she tried to do this whole thing, but again, it was about her. Right. And in a couple of weeks, she'll go back to herself. I just, it's kind of one of those things where when you're confronted about something and you realize, oh, wow, you know, I am a jerk or I am, or I am this or that, it just kind of hits you and you kind of, you know, realize it for a second. Right. Yeah. And then she going to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> so in the mix, um, Max, you know, was telling her they had a big, what, something with the business. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Step Wh in. When they were having the conversation, when they were at the party, mm -hmm. and <laughs> and Max said that, and first of all, she was talking to third person as she was walking. Oh right. And, uh, <laughs> so Max Max said that the his merger was approved, and so Naomi w and that he had to you know go to the meeting. And the first thing that she says is that you'll miss my moment of triumph. I'm like, now you just last week you saw how that man, how your husband was struggling to try and keep the business together. And now that he's actually able to get his business to merge and that he has help because you tried helping him and it, and it, and it didn't work out, he has to go to a meeting oh and God. then you turn it on yourself and say, oh, my God, you, you're going to miss. You know, I just don't I can't I don't do Naomi. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I totally get it. Uh, it's just you love and hate her. You love and hate her. I, I mean, hate her. I. <laughs> Well, I love and hate her at the same damn time. Okay, like, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we saw the ending, mm -hmm. ending result. Max lost everything because of Naomi, the usual. Yeah. So that's when we hate her. We can hate her now. Yeah, and and you can see that Max is starting to get pissed off because oh, yeah. um, when he was explaining about how you know they they voted him out because you know Bryce, who Naomi encouraged um, to hire, you know she engineered the the merger so that he would lose the majority, and so then 
um, he was voted out of the company, uh, and she convinced that you know she convinced the the, um, the board of directors to to put him out. And so she, Naomi was like, "But she, but you hired her," and he was like, "No, actually, you hired her." And so just that moment, you can tell like he's starting to get kind of pissed off. Do you think though he like they really could vote him vote him out because she hired him? I mean, but Max really hired her, right? Well, no. Max wanted her though. He wanted her, and then Naomi said that she that that they had found in uh, in house um, a staff to hire her. But then once he realized, once she realized that that, that she was really perfect for the job, mm -hmm. she went ahead and called her and then and then hired her for the position. So technically speaking, although Max did want her, Naomi went behind Max's back and hired her because he thought that was because she mm -hmm. thought that that was the right thing to do. So. He, you know, he's just trying to find reason to blame her, right? which is wrong. So I'm going to be on Team Naomi for just a second. But in all honesty, Max wanted her, so you can't blame your wife. On right, because she was trying to do the right thing. Because if Naomi would have never threw salt. You would have hired her. Basically. Exactly. I mean, I don't really have thoughts on that uh, other than, you know, we're going to see a lot of drama coming up with that. I mean, who knows? Like, obviously, they're not going to lose the big house because Naomi's always had it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we're definitely probably going to see some changes in their marriage coming yeah. up for sure. You know what changes I want to see? I want to see all of you guys out there. Make sure that you guys um, go to Amazon.com. When you guys go to our um, our website at AfterBuzzTV.com, we have an Amazon banner. You click on the banner and when you want to do all your shopping from Amazon you make sure that you go through AfterBuzz because it gives us a kick because you know we're all here doing this for free and we do it for the love of you super fans who love these great shows that we recap on AfterBuzz TV so make sure you go to AfterBuzz TV and click on the AfterBuzz banner on the top right hand side before you do your shopping for Amazon.com because it's Christmas time so everybody wants to buy things so this is a perfect time to do it so amazon.com on our website at afterbustv.com what was that sound effect again I know I love it I, <laughs> you put me in the moment but it's I said uh, click hell yeah I'm with it I'm with the click click it all uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness um so where should we go to I mean I love, 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 love Silver and Teddy's friendship. I absolutely adored it. I've, I loved their relationship within the relationship. I loved when they ended up be, becoming friends. Silver has been so supportive. Mm -hmm. So it really pissed me off. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad because I just didn't want to be the mean person, but I think we... Go ahead. It really pissed me off that Shane... Are you talking about Shane? Mm -hmm. That Shane really tried to get into the business about the whole baby thing. That pissed me off, but I'm also pissed at Silver because Silver had no business. Okay, although she to found, even yeah. Okay, so just let me okay yeah. Let me just break down. Okay. So so um so as they're on the as they're on the rooftop, mm -hmm. you know, in the tennis balls that they that they used to do in high school when they right, were together, I loved it. they were having a conversation, and he was like, "Oh, you know, when I was in D.C., he basically said that his relationship with Shane didn't work out." So then Silver, as the as the best friend, you know, goes when she sees Shane show up to the house because Shane is looking for Teddy. She uh, t uh, Shane wants to know. Uh, Silver wants to know, well, you know, why they break up, and Shane was like, "No, we didn't break up, and I'm here to, you know, see if I could, you know, get my man back." Right. And so then she goes in, she confronts Teddy, like, you know, well, what's going on? And and then Teddy was like, I don't want to talk about it. And then so basically he's scared because the last relationship that he had, he was hurt when he was in high school two years ago. So now Silver brings Shane to the pen, to the Playboy party so that the two of them can get back together. That's where she pissed me off. That's where she pissed me off because mind your business, like you are the best friend, but you don't. And, and maybe that's because I'm a guy, but I wouldn't bring I wouldn't bring uh, my boy's girlfriend or uh, the or however you want to you know make the situation. I would never bring them to a party in hopes that they get back together because I don't know everything that's going on in the relationship. Right, but I mean, she I feel as a best friend knows Teddy and knows that maybe a little bit that he was scared, but he she knows that he really loves him. You know what I mean? I mean, I get that, but at the same time, you know, she's just trying to work it out. And you know what? It did help. I mean, maybe he needed that push. Well, Some people just need a push. 
Well, I think she should have pushed herself out the <laughs> equation and minded her business. But but now, but, it, but now Shane is pushing himself in their situation. Yeah. So and it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. You and that hand. You just are so. <laughs> you just so say it. You just so ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that wouldn't be the first time someone but, told me that, okay? But now that Shane, now that he knows that Teddy donated his sperm for right. for the baby, now all of a sudden he was, I, I was, I was scared when he when he said um when he was like um um when he said he made the comment about uh what's my paper when he says that um the comment. There, he said something like, there's something that we need to talk about. And I'm like, oh, Lord, did he, like, give him a disease? I was like, I hope it was not, like, Oh, something. I was not even thinking like that. Yeah, I, I was like, because he was like, oh, my God, well, I, there's something that we need to talk about first. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, Lord, please. You know, but. Oh, my God, do you think it's something like that? No, I don't think it's anything like that. Now, Man, that is just way too, I can't. That's way too dramatic. Well, that's just what I was thinking, because why would he be so No, upset? I think it's like, we need to talk because you're about to have a kid. Like, what's really good? And so, basically, I think Shane wants to now have, he wants to be a part of it because they're together. And so, he wants to raise, he, want, he, he wants to raise the, ba uh, the baby Ugh, with Teddy. And he wants to, like, split, you know what I'm saying? Like he <gasps> Oh, do you think he'll want to get custody? Kind of like Grey's Anatomy. Oh, okay. You know, so, okay, well, anyway, you have uh, you have the, a same-sex couple, and then you have the, oh. the guy. And so I'm thinking that Shane and T Shane wants to have the baby with Teddy oh, to goodness. be a part and, you know, do all that stuff. That's what I'm thinking. But it has nothing to do with Shane, though, really. No. But I, that will stress me out if it's something. I can't take it. I mean, we had Raj last season. I can't. Mm -hmm. With none of this dramatic, dramatic stuff, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, that whole situation, I mean, we'll see what comes about it. It was kind of uplifting at the same time. I mean, I love, I mean, like I've said, I love them together. Mm -hmm. And the reason that Shane's back in the back in the equation, it's going to be a little difficult. Yeah, so I, I think that, again, Silver, she got in the business, mm -hmm. and so she's going to pay for it because now, you know what? I think I think it's also glad because Teddy needs to come back. He does. Teddy needs to come back. He's grown. Fully. He needs to go back because it's just like there's a there's a void in the story the the story some of the characters and storylines and he needs to be there. Exactly, and I mean the same with like you can tell he's still good friends with everybody. Like yeah. why don't they just have him there all the time? It makes no sense. He's cool with Liam. He's cool with everybody. Like you know they need to bring the storyline back, and I think it will help that Shane is in the picture that they can build a story off of Silver, Teddy, and Shane. Yeah, agree. So that's hopefully that's where they go with it. I don't want any more drama. I mean, not that type of type of drama. Yeah. That was good thinking though. Yeah, well thank you. I, I ain't gonna lie, that went deep. <laughs> deep into the thinking pool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so the tripod. Annie, Jasper, and Liam. And over to the side we had to be, but Indeed. and <clears throat> well, let's okay, well let's go with let's start with Liam first because Liam is having nightmares about Vanessa. Right, because I know I, I knew that yeah. bitch was about to come back. So I you, knew she was. I knew she was coming back. So Liam is having nightmares, <sighs> and then he gets a, he gets the a, a telephone call, and it's the nine one one call that he made. And so clearly, someone is someone is is messing with him. Who do you him. think it is? I have no idea. He thought that it was he thought it was Jasper. Jasper. So once they get to the reunion, Annie. Uh, sees Jasper and she runs and she goes the other way. Well, first of all, I'm ha when they first looked at each other, mm -hmm. you could totally tell that Annie was like, I do not know what the hell to think. You she know was what freaked saying? out, yeah. Yeah, she was freaked out, but at the same time, she was like, what the heck? You know, I mean, seeing your ex after he was like a stalker and mm -hmm. psycho, you know what I mean? He was still kind of psycho, especially when he knew what juice she wanted or whatever. He pulled it right out. He was like, oh, will this one? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was just like, I think there's just some things I don't forget. Well, I hoped you forget that, you, you know, my favorite type of juice. Like, that is something you can forget about. Like. And, and then what was also interesting is um, first Emily shows up. Cousin mm -hmm. Emily shows up. Hey, because I'm like, why she's, are you in, she's in town for a press tour because she's an actress and she goes NYU and so like she's just a big theater star. So she has her little two, three seconds of fame when she comes back. Right. And then you go to Jasper. One of the things that uh, 
is it Jasper or Jasper? Jasper. One of the things that you almost wondered, okay, is he tick tick boom? Is when he confronted is when he confronted her and said that, um, that about Liam about Liam about how, how he beat him up how you know being that he beat me up you know he owes me right and I'm like I was thinking though that he was stalking Liam too yeah he's like being that being that you beat the crap out of me you know he owed me mm -hmm. and so that whole attitude was like that crazy Jasper yeah. attitude we knew before. Mm -hmm. And I totally love the fact that Liam opened up to um, Annie about the whole situation. Yeah, he did sure did. And I and I'm so happy to because I mean that's something like you cannot hold inside, you know. And Annie's mm -hmm. like a trustworthy person, you know what I mean? Um, but the fact that they thought it was Jasper, it was a kind of nice, yeah. Re that, yeah, like relief that it was just you know a movie that he wants to do, which I think is so exciting. I think this is gonna bring his character back into the mix. Yeah, and, you know, it might, you know, so Jasper had a screenplay that he wrote and it's about a guy who's basically changed his life and he wants to become a writer. And so he was like, you know, hey, that let's forgive and forget. And he wants to do the script. His dad will fund it as long as he has a big star to, to be a part of it. So I thought that was a great way mm -hmm. to to get closure for everyone. Yeah. And I, I really loved it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't wait to see. I don't know. I mean, do you think Jasper and Annie could have a second shot? I mean, as you saw, it kind of inspired Annie to start writing. Oh, boy. I don't know, because as we know, that Riley did give some information that he's going to be more involved mm -hmm. with her. So I don't know. Maybe but it might. I mean, it's crazy. It's two hotheads, yeah. you know, Jasper and Riley yeah. together. That Colliding. could be a little right, like reindeers. Yes, you know. exactly. I would I, I kind of wouldn't mind it to mm -hmm. see maybe where it could go. Um, obviously, we have to wait for future episodes, but I, I was glad they brought him back. Yeah, me you too. know, it was kind of like a nice little another yeah. story to have. I I thought it was pointless to have Emily, but, you know, whatever, she's Right, there. she just showed up like crazy, crazy bitch. Like, yeah. there's no time for you to be here. And then, <laughs> and so now that Liam is paranoid about him being followed and him getting these notes and calls, now Naveed is trying to get back into his good graces. Right. And so anytime Naveed says something, he would, like, totally walk away. And right. he just was not, he was not really having it. And then toward the end, finally, when Naveed offered, you know, I have a, a sex tape of mine that you can that you can blast out, and of course it wasn't his. his it wasn't a sex right. tape. It was his bar mitzvah, <laughs> and uh, he was like the the most he embarrassing thing. He was trying thing. so and, hard. Yeah, he, he was trying so hard. Now, do you think that Liam forgave him because, like he said, he needs friends right now? You know, at the end of the day, you <laughs> saw Naveed really trying and really pushing to be Liam's friend again. You know, and I think Liam saw that, and especially the fact that he brought, you know, the CD mm -hmm. of his bar mitzvah. It's like, you know what, man, at the end of the day, I need my friends here. Like, I know he'll always have my back. So, yeah, I mean, I think it does play a big hand, and I don't think it's a bad thing either. I don't think so either, because you remember uh, when Teddy, and that was another thing. I like the fact that Teddy had scenes with different people. He had a scene with exactly. Liam. Exactly. And he had a scene with, um, with Silver, of course, and then he had a scene with, um, with, with a Naveed and but when Teddy and, and when Teddy and, and Liam were together, you know, Teddy said, you know, um, all the things I wish I can forget about, forget about in high school. He says friends aren't one of them because, you know, he asked him, he mm -hmm. was like, you know, so Naveed screwing up is not a bad, you know, it's not a bad thing after all. So maybe just maybe just seeing the reunion, the reunion and all the friends around yeah. maybe helped him realize that, you know, that he'll be there yeah. no matter what. But I, I do, mean, oh. they've all gone through crazy yeah. shit, and they're all still there together, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you going to say? I do think that Annie should have signed the lease. Yes, yeah. I do think so, too. Yeah, yeah, I think she should have signed the lease. And she's like, oh, you know, you didn't seem to have a problem with when, when well, the fans. Well, after, though, yeah. he told her, so we didn't really see the, the ending result. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think that might bring them closer, but I know they're never going to be together again. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like, you know, I, th I think she will sign it. And you know what I was kind of annoyed about? That they didn't, like, bring more of the story of that security. Yeah, she... Is it just, She like, was kind of like an extra today. Yeah, she was a definitely an extra, extra. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get it. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm kind of interested to see where they really go with that because the mm -hmm. last thing we saw, you know, she was kind of kind of psycho. Yeah. Last thing we saw. 
Um, so, I mean, pretty much with that story, I can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs> I think it's going to be something really good, yeah. and I'm excited. I'm excited because I can't wait for all of you guys out there to make sure that you go to iTunes and that you download, rate, and comment, and share with your friends, yeah. okay? So, again, we've always pleaded with you guys that we are dying to get into the After Buzz TV iTunes Top 10. So, you leave a lot of great comments on on uh, YouTube, but we need you to go to we need you to go to iTunes and we need you to download. It's free. Download all of the all of the shows that we have. You can rate us, you can comment, and you could tell all your friends. And we'll give you a shout out. So that's what we will do if you guys will go to iTunes and download our podcast for free. <clears throat> also, make sure that you also download the po the podcast app, which organizes all of your subscriptions for all the great shows that we have here on After Buzz TV. So Download, rate, comment on iTunes. Five stars. Yes, and get us in that top ten. Yes. You feel me? I feels. <laughs> <laughs> so, the biggest part in this episode, or the most anticipation mm -hmm. part, basically, you know, we were wanting to see if Dixon was ever going to find out. Yeah. He sure did. And but it was just the kiss. Adriana was like, I knew I slept with him, like... Because Dixon saw the video while he was on the phone uh, right. snoozing with some of the alum, alumni about bragging about his record company, his talent, and Adriana, he's going through the video and all the information. Where was that file? Yeah, where did he get the file? And so that's one of the things that 902 and 0 sometimes they don't do. They don't they don't really dive into how things are, are, are found out. So he's going, he's looking through, um, through a, an, um, a notepad but what do you call the the iPad? The iPad or yeah, yeah. such yeah. yeah. And so he's going through that, and so he sees the scene where uh, where Adriana is get kissing Taylor. He confronts her, and then again, and again, what was interesting is is when after um, oh we didn't Silver. talk we didn't talk about Silver and her um, her burlesque. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of touched on it. I mean, cause well, I mean, it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> It I mean, was, I guess it wasn't, like, it was, that big of a deal, really. It was stiff. It, yeah, I mean, you know, she did her thing. Uh, well, I mean, it, you it know, it, it made a point. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> so, uh, Dixon, but was, Dixon was on the phone when that, when that happened. So when he comes out, you know, Adriana says, hey, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't I know that she Silver, was. Silver, yeah. I can't believe Silver um, hid was, this from us. Hid like, this from her and was keeping secrets about her doing brothers' dances. And Dixon was like, you know, she's not the only one that's keeping secrets. We need to talk. They go outside and then he yeah. confronts her about that. And she totally just, I'm sorry, she breaks down and says, you know, we weren't together and I slept with Taylor. And Dixon says that, huh? Like, he's like, huh, what? I thought that was just the rehearsal. So he didn't even realize that the two of them were actually sleeping together. He was, now what did you think he was confronting her about? The fact that he was, that it was a kiss during rehearsal? Right. I mean, yeah. I definitely knew what was in his head, the kiss, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I had a feeling she was just going to blab out the whole business. Like, I just had a feeling she was about to do that. I mean, it was better she did that than just say that they kissed, you know? Might as well just be all the way out yeah, there. She might but as well. I did not think it was about to twist like that. Yeah. Where he is now in control of her. I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest. Well, I have an opinion. Okay, please. I think that as a guy, he's pissed off, he's hurt. And rather than let her go, it would, uh, it would make her, he wants to make her suffer for what she did. So the fact mm. that she signed the contract, his exact words were, um, um, I'm going to hold you to your contract. I am in full control of your music. I own you. Oh, and by the way, I think I have a perfect title for the record label, <gasps> Unfaithful Records. <sighs> of course, he's not going to name it, but he just wanted to throw that at her because that's what we guys do. When you do something to us and it hurts us, oh, we go for the kill. And so that's exactly what he, that's, it, you just like, mm, you not having it. But that's, <laughs> but that's, that's what we do. And so it's going to make her, it's going to drive her more crazy that she has to be with him for the sake that he signed the contract. So every chance that he gets, he's going to throw dabs at her to make her regret what she did. And I hated when she was like, I'll be back. Like, we'll see each other. Damn right, we'll see each other. Like, I was like, oh, 
Nikki did not just go there. Like if I was her, I'd have been, mm, I'd been so irritated. But you can't be irritated. I know, I know. But okay. see, I never put myself in a situation like that. But I'm just saying, <laughs> okay. If I was, eight, I'd be so irritated. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's true. I mean, and I think it's gonna show a dark side in Dixon. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he won't be able to do a lot with that because of Annie and like all the friends and stuff like that. Like obviously. But if. If they go back to the, the cast and they take back all of the, you know, and Teddy and, and whoever doesn't come back and, and Naveed only comes around every so often, mm -hmm. then I don't think it's gonna be good because he who who can who can um who can Dixon talk to? You know, he can't talk to Taylor, uh he'll talk to Riley, but I just I, I'm just wishing that, you know, Naveed comes in more and that Teddy comes in more so that the pot can kinda mix a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, uh poor aid. She's about to be in a contract that's not going to go away for a while. Yeah. And, I mean, do you think he's going to forgive her? Eventually, I think he will forgive her, but he's going to make her pay. I also thought it was weird. You remember when she signed her name on the contract? Mm -hmm. She only It was only two letters. It was an A and uh, what's her last name? Adriana? Dixon. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. Her last name is Duncan. A Duncan. <laughs> yeah, she just signed AD. There was like no signature. I like I mean, I have a pretty horrible signature, but it's more than two letters. But then maybe she can get out of it somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think she's going to like bring Taylor like Taylor, you have to help me. You have to save me. No, because <laughs> I don't you know, like Taylor was like you basically need to break up. I don't think she's going to get back with Taylor because of the way it was found out. So he's totally Yeah, I think he's going to stay out of it, I think. Uh, well, I mean, as you can see, we have a lot, a lot of more coverage coming soon with these episodes. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see what happens further with these characters, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, shall we just get into predictions real quick? Yes, we can get into predictions quick. And now, you're I after Buzz TV. So sad. Okay, so for predictions, finally... A lot of times they show like really small tidbits mm -hmm. and you can't really figure out. But on this one, they really because this is the last episode for the um, for the mid season finale. Ugh, and so um, Adriana sees Vanessa and tells a, a Liam's uh, bodyguard that Vanessa's back in town. And just to look on the bodyguard's face, she, you don't really know what because she's crazy. So that's, Wait, what do you mean? So that's one thing. So yeah, Adriana sees oh, Vanessa shit. at the pool, and then he tells the bodyguard. She's like, when you see Liam, tell him that I saw Vanessa. Oh, great. She ain't going to tell Liam. Oh, and Lord. Then, and then Teddy wants to be the child's father. He wants to be involved. And then Liam uh, apparently is stabbed. We see someone's leg getting stabbed, so Liam looked like he's stabbed because in the next scene, we see him being kidnapped with tape around his mouth with his arms. You didn't see this, did you? No, I did not. Okay, so that's the, that's the third thing that happened, and then... Oh, yes. Lord, do I want to know? Yeah. And guess what? What? Alec is back. For the kill? No, no, no. Naomi confronts him, you know, about you tried to get rid of her. You tried to get rid of me. I mean, God, you're like a girl that's in love. And she goes, oh, my God. And then he was like, um, and then. You're lying. I swear. <laughs> and, and then he was like, I, I think the last thing he said was, you know, please don't tell him. I'm speechless. I I am so speechless. You remember when Riley was here? Yes. No. Hmm. This. Can we just end on that note? Because honestly, I am so speechless. Like, next. I, I hope well, they don't hurt my my boo thing, yeah. Liam. Well, while she's speechless, we want to thank you guys for watching another recap of of uh, 90210 uh, after show here on that. I'm totally like. I know that's yeah. so. So, thank you guys for watching After Buzz TV for another edition of 90210, the 100th episode. I'm Bam Erickson. You can follow me at Bam Erickson. I'm at Nicolette Gona on Twitter. You can follow me there. All right, so thank we'll you see so you guys much. next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only. Do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.